Hello friends. In this video, we are going to talk about Excel VLOOKUP. Excel VLOOKUP is used when you want to look up a value in a table by a row. Let's take this Excel as an example. So in this example, I have a table with four columns, employee ID, name, department and salary. And I have it as part of sheet one. And in sheet two, I have some specific employee IDs and I have a column called as name, which is blank as of now. So I want to find out the names of these employee IDs. So I can write a VLOOKUP function to figure that out. I'm going to type VLOOKUP and VLOOKUP actually takes four parameters. The first one is the lookup value. So here we are going to look up against our employee ID. So I'm going to select employee ID A2. And then the next one is going to be the table array from which we are going to look up the values for the employee. So here I'm going to select the entire table. And then the third one is going to be the column index number. So we are interested in finding out the name of the employee. If you look at the table, the name is the second column. So I'm going to specify two here and then range lookup. So range lookup is a Boolean value, which is either true or false. If it is true, it would take in an approximate match. If it is false, then it has to be an exact match. So let's start with false. Now we got the employee ID one corresponding name, which is Anna. So now we are going to expand this function for the rest of the rows and we are able to get the names of all the employees. So if you look at the formulas, the formula is relative referencing. So if you look at it here, it is A7 to D16. Here it is A6 to D15 and A5 to D14. So what if the employees IDs are not in an ascending order? For example, if the employee ID number two is present here, then we would not be able to find the answer here. So we get an error value not available there. So in this case, what you have to do is you have to make sure that the referencing is not relative, but it is an absolute referencing. So you have to add dollar symbol in front and then I can say two dollar D16. So I'm going to specify the entire table and then I'm going to lock the referencing so it is not related anymore. So now we are able to get the answer Bobby, which we were not able to find it before because we were using relative referencing. So this is the difference between the relative and absolute referencing. Now we can take a look at the approximate match. So for example, in this table, we have employee IDs only from one to 10. So if I specify 11 here, and then I expand my formula, then I get a not applicable error because there is no employee ID 11 in my table. But if I give this as true, then I would get the value checked. So what this does is it tries to find out an integer value which is the greatest and less than to the employee ID given. So the greatest number that is less than the employee ID given is 10. So if we look at the actual table, employee ID 10 has the name Jack, which is the reason we were able to retrieve Jack here. So this is how a uh, approximate match in VLOOKUP would work. Now we can try to find out the salary of the employees. Now we can use name as our VLOOKUP. So I'm going to type VLOOKUP and then I'm going to specify this with column B2 comma table array is going to be the same. And then I'm going to specify because we are doing B2 to D11. So it is going to be the third column here. So 
and then I'm going to have a false. I want an exact match. So I got the salary as 50,000, and then I'm going to expand it to everything. And then for Bobby, I'm not able to get the answer because it's a relative referencing. So I'm going to modify that. And here I'm specifying B7, so it has to be B1. So now I've got the value as 75,000. Okay, so now here what else we can do is we can specify um, wildcard. So I can have something like Vivo B and then a star. So if you look at here, we are finding out the value using a wildcard as well. So we didn't give the entire name, but what we did is we gave a BOB and then a star wildcard. So whatever after that would be recognized and then we got the value as 75,000. So this would work in such a way that the first hit that came off for this particular column would be returned as a result. Even though we have a Bob and a Bobby whichever came first would there a uh, lookup would stop and then it would return the result and then another interesting thing about the vlookup is so if you're looking up the name then you can only look up the values in the columns that is to the right of the actual lookup column you would not be able to find out the employee id if you are looking up this table using the name, you would be able to look up only to the right side. And now let's take a look at this one. So here we are going to have a, let's look at a name. So here we are going to have Gary, right? So here it says G-A-R alone. And then we are doing a, we look up here. So if you do a, we look up here, so in this case, we can do the same one of what we did in the previous for wild card lookup. So it would be B9 Amberson asterisk. And we are going to make this absolute. And now we got the value so we were able to use the part of the name from the column and then we were able to use the asterisk as a wild card and then we were able to retrieve the result so we can go and then reference it here so Gary has a salary of 67,000 which we were able to get so now we have let's do another one so 13 and we are going to type Andy and if we expand this so Andy is not there and then here if you look at it we have been thrown an error saying that the value doesn't exist. So this is not a good way of actually representing the error. So in those cases what you can do is you can do a if condition and then specify something that you would want not found. So you won't get the not found an applicable exception thrown, but you would be able to give a string value, which you would find would make more sense. So the formula would be if NA and then the VLOOKUP condition. And at the end, you would give the string that you would want that to be replaced. So here, whenever the value is not found and an NA error is thrown, that NA error would be replaced by this string. So Microsoft has come up with a better function or like an advanced function, I would say, which is the XLOOKUP, which can look at in multiple directions. So we can talk about the XLOOKUP in our next video. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe channel and then please press the bell icon so that you will get
notification of the new videos that are getting posted. Thank you. Bye-bye.